to get some shots on replacing the auger belt and the uh, drive belt on this crash in the snow. It's 10 horsepower snow blower. Uh, the snow was pretty wet last going around, the last snowstorm we had, so uh, it really didn't, uh, didn't throw anything. So, so what you have, you get this cover right here. Sorry about this, um, but you've got a bolt here on this plastic cover and a bolt here. Now this just sits down in front of the motor. Uh, there's a bolt on the other side as well, which we're going to take out. Around here, and down in here you've got another bolt right here that has to come out. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one out and I'll be back with you in a second. I've got all three belts out. Now the trick is going to be trying to get this plastic piece out, plastic cover. Uh, maybe not much. It's got to come out from behind here. Somewhat jammed. There we go. So that covers the belts. Can't see very well, but um, yeah, the belts are not doing too well here. Must have been slipping here a bit. So, the next part, I've got to get I'll loosen some of the tension on these. This one here is no, no tension on it. The other one does have it, so loosen that off and see if I can take them off from the top. Then I have to go down underneath. I have to flip this thing up on the front. So, uh, I'll flip it up on its front and take the belt out from underneath. Uh, one thing that's going to make your life a lot easier, you've got these two posts here, which kind of stay in place, hold the belt in. You want to go in and loosen the uh, outside nut. That'll allow this to slip out, and then you can get your belt off. Same on the other side. It doesn't seem to move as much, but it'll give me enough room to get the belt off there as well. I figured give myself a little more light. Uh, open the garage door here. It's not too cold out. You should be able to see now the two bolts, the belts. This is all down in front. So I've loosened it off. I had to take this belt over here off from the uh, tensioner. And I would suggest if you're going to do this, replace both both belts. You don't want to go in here twice. So I've got an A37, and this other one should be an A38. We'll see what happens here in a second. Okay, as I was, as I was taking these two plates off, I actually realized. Still can't get to the belts. What you have to do is actually split the thing in half. So there's a bolt here, here, and then the whole snowblower opens up like a clamshell to give you access to the belts. So I guess it was nice to see how these come off, but didn't have to do it. You see on the bottom here, there's a bolt here. I'm missing a nut on this side. But it actually pivots on these when it opens up. So I'm going to put it back down on its feet, uh, back down on its feet and uh, split it in half. So here we go. I'm going to take this one here off, um, which again will allow me to tilt this. So this part here will fold this way, this part here will fold that way. Give you full access to these. Probably get a better view now of the belts. These things here will actually come right off. Uh, the other one vibrated off on me, so I'm gonna have to get that back in place. Um, but, I'll crack it open now. There you go. As soon as you take those two bolts out, one on each side, the thing opens right up. The belts are easy to get to. This is the one here that I have to replace, but since I have it opened, may as well do this one as well. So I'll replace both of those. You can see all the coke that's in there. So I'll get those out of there. And we'll button her back up. Okay, I've got the belts back on here. Sides buttoned up. I may have to tighten this 
adjust this idler a little bit, but it uh, should be okay. So, next thing is put the cover on. Remember, don't take the bottom or the back off. No need to. Just these two bolts, the clamshell opens up. Take these arms out, it makes your life a lot easier. Uh, and then, give it a test. So, I'm gonna put the bottom and the back on there and uh, we'll give it a try in a minute. Okay, everything's back together. So, just an overview. You only wanna take out the screws on for this plastic cover. One on that side, two on the other side. There's a bolt on this side, bolt on that side. Those come out. Snowblower opens up like a clamshell, and then you replace both of the belts. If you have it open, why not? I replaced them both with an A37 belt and an A38 belt. One is just a little bit larger than the other. And I took it out for a little test, and everything's in good shape. So we're all set for another snowstorm, which I hope we don't get. So, thanks for watching.